Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3. Last we left off, which you might actually need a reminder because of how long it's been between updates, we just finished up with Priority Rannoch. You know, the mission where there was a Reaper on the planet, instead of just a Reaper base. Yeah, so that whole hat thing happened, and thankfully we can put the whole Corian and Geth mess behind us. And we were asked to come to the Citadel to help with uh, the Asari Counselor, or perhaps get help from the Asari Counselor. Anyway, before we do any of that, we have uh, Hackett on the line. Commander, something on your mind? Not particularly, but I was told, um... I, well, may as well check in with things. What's our state of readiness, Admiral? We're getting there. And with the Reapers pressing their advantage across all fronts, we don't have a lot of time to catch up. Hmm. Okay. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? Bringing in both the Quarians and the Geth has helped us immeasurably. The Quarian fleet is providing evac and fire support, while the Geth attack Reaper supply lines. Oh, okay. No, oh, have we asked? We probably have. Okay, we've... well... How about the Asari and Solarians? Since the coup attempt, the Asari have stepped up to the plate. They're committing fleets and sending a science team to work on the Crucible. And believe it or not, they promised us the Destiny Ascension. They haven't forgotten you saved it three years ago. Yeah, but what about the Solarians? And the Solarians? They sent the entire fleet as a thank you for rescuing their counselor. Ah, nice. I guess they managed to overlook the genophage cure. Yeah, that's right. Uh, amazingly enough, despite all of the threats of withholding things like fleets and all of that because of political bullshit surrounding the end of the uh, galaxy. Um, turns out that they were wrong and that we're still kind of on the right track here. What's the Reaper situation? It's not trending well, even if you did buy Radix some time. Our threat projections show the Reapers will gain the advantage on most other fronts. Well... And now the Asari are a prime target. They're the most advanced race in the galaxy. We'll soon find out if that means anything. Hmm, okay. Then why pick me? Was this an option before? If I may, Admiral, I have a personal question. Speak freely, Commander. Why me? Why put me in charge of all this? Because you're the only soldier in this whole damn Navy who knows how to kill Reapers. Well, anyone can, technically, but I am Shepard, so... You just have to be smart and hope you get lucky. Anyone can figure it out. Your dossier says otherwise, Shepard. You were trapped on a coos all those years ago, and you were the only one to make it out alive. Back then, I saw more than just a soldier in the making. And because of that, you think I qualify to save the galaxy? Shepard, let me tell you something that I've learned the hard way. You can pay a soldier to fire a gun. You can pay him to charge the enemy and take a hill. But you can't pay him to believe. I don't follow, sir. When you get up against Sovereign, there was no good reason to believe you'd win. But your crew didn't seem to care. They went along anyway. Your trip through the Omega-4 Relay? That was a suicide mission, if there ever was one. Yet there your crew was, standing beside you, proud to serve. Why? Because they believed in you, their leader. That's what I need now. Hmm. Where we're taking them is liable to get pretty hairy, and I know you're the one who will get us to the other side. Interesting. Okay. Well, nothing more, sir. Hack it out. Well, that's kind of an interesting little opinion, actually. The fact that everyone seems to believe in Shepard, except that they haven't for several years, but the crew that immediately deals with us apparently does. That's that's nice. Oh, good. Yes. That we did. Um, I am noticing some fun. Well, maybe it's okay. I, it seemed like it slowed down just a little bit there. I was not thrilled with that. I've been having so many technical issues just trying to record this episode. I even had my keyboard completely bail out on me. Okay. You know, the Quarians have done pretty well with those suits. Maybe they can make something like that for you. Yeah, they have. Protective medical exoskeleton. 
I could even get one with racing stripes. So what's the problem? Looks like walking around in heavy armor totally screws with my spatial awareness. Hmm. I wear heavy armor, and my spatial awareness is perfect. Uh, you crashed the last shuttle, you flew Vega. <laughs> I need to feel my balance shift when I'm flying. I need to feel the ship moving with me. Mm -hmm. You take that away. I don't know. I mean, I'm good, but I'm not me. Yeah, I get that. Plus, have you seen Tally? Come on, I don't have the hips to carry a suit like that. That's also true. All right. Gotta hand it to you, Ooh. Commander. That's the first time I've seen someone end a war by yelling. Well, that's that's what I'm here for—to yell at people and to end wars by winning them. After seeing what the Geth Rebellion really looked like, I figured they deserved a chance. More than a chance. I doubt many organics would have trusted a synthetic race. And now we've got two fleets for the price of one. We didn't lose anybody. Except Legion. Mm. Before it sacrificed itself. Legion referred to itself as I instead of we. Yeah. Yeah? So? The singular pronoun indicates Legion's independent personality had fully actualized. In its last moments, it was not an avatar of the Geth consensus. It was a person. That's what I figured. Mm -hmm. Well, when the Geth fleet helps us retake Earth, I guess we'll owe that to him. Oh, Legion. I was just saying, I also had a keyboard malfunction. So, uh, technical difficulties all around. Commander. Okay. And I'm not getting any fucking closer to you on that. It's on your mind, Edie. I was just reflecting. The Quarians' historical era was not making the Geth enough like them. I'm not sure I understand. Units with networked intelligences will trend toward cooperation for mutual benefit. Yeah. But units with central heuristics establishing an individual personality, such as myself, develop preferences. Okay. These preferences form attachments that keep my calculations from devaluing the worth of the lives aboard the Normandy. Uh -huh. You're saying the Geth turned on the Quarians because they aren't individuals? That is my theory. But it is limited to a sample size of one society. The only other notable synthetic society is the Reapers, and we do not know if they govern by consensus as the Geth do. Mm -hmm. Do me a favor, don't ask them. That's a good idea, yeah, don't ask the Reapers about how they govern everything. Hello, Shepard. Okay, so we are done here, I am sick of getting stuck in that fucking little glitch on the fucking bridge. Anyway, so yeah, it's been a while since I've picked up this game. Messages, Commander. Thank you. Um... May as well check those. Status update 314.20 from Invalid Extranet Domain. Geth Programs and Hardware Designation. Legion have requested Prime Runtime Units Update Shepherd Commander on Platform Status. Complying. Prime flat Platforms housed in server that remain stationed on Rannoch. Creator forces prevent transfer of prime platforms to Geth transport vessels. Cessation of creator Geth conflict required to assist Shepard Commander slash designated allies. Awaiting conflict status update. Hmm. Okay, that sounds like I need to step in on that. Shepard, just want to, just wanted to let you know that I'm going to be to join Adams in engineering. It seems like the best place for me to help, as I'm. As long as I'm coming to help you anyway. Wow, I can read. Please drop by when you have a minute. From Shalaran Vasranok. Commander. With assistance from the Geth, our fleet is nearly back to full strength. Also, I apologize if I get the accent wrong. We have focused most of our efforts on providing evacuation assistance and support for the Turian fleet, while the Geth harassed the Reapers. Even with our newfound peace, it seemed foolish to risk an incident by putting our forces in closer proximity. I understand from Admiral Zen that the Crucible project continues well, though Zen herself seems dissatisfied with the techno technological capabilities of the device. Though eccentric, she is, that's definitely wrong, she is also brilliant. Hopefully, she will find some way to improve its functionality. I would never have believed you would talk Han down, Commander. Take care of Talizora for me. Kila Salai, Admiral Shalaran Vasranak. Let's talk Quarian War. Oh, okay. It may be hard to believe after what we just went through, but the rest of the galaxy is barely aware the Quarians ever went to war went to the into the Vale, let alone started a war with the Geth. We're sitting on a major piece of history here. I have material from all the players except you. 
Can I get into can I get into your cabin for an hour and get your thoughts on a vid? Well, I didn't get a chance to say yes or no, so how you doing, trainer? I hear you are on the ground with the Reaper. He fired up at us a few times. Oh. Joker pulled the Normandy through some insane maneuvers to stay out of the line of fire. Yeah. It's hard being in a fight like that, especially when you're not the one flying the ship. Joker's one of the best, though. At first I was nauseous, swinging around in my safety harness. But then I was furious. Just... <sighs> enraged. I wanted that thing dead. Mm. You didn't want the Reapers dead when they attacked Earth? I wanted them defeated. I wanted Earth saved. But I never wanted to physically tear them in half and watch them blow up. <laughs> Congratulations, trainer. I believe you've discovered your fight-or-flight instinct. Perhaps I should have stayed with Chess. Although now I think I'm spoiled by the lack of explosions. I'm sure we could work something out for you. Make explosions part of the chess experience. Commander. Okay, you're done. So, um... I'm sure that a lot of people have interesting things to say. Hey, you. I've got to say, I enjoyed that last mission on Rana. Did you? Okay. The munitions you carry into the field deserve at least a triple check. Okay. Ma'am. All right, thank you, buddy. All right. Hmm. James isn't here. Oh, it's just Cortez, huh? It's just... Oh, okay. They're where I expect them to be. Oh, Caden and James are in the lounge. Sweet. Well, that's all that's interesting to see down here. We should probably also check in with Tally in engineering. Hmm. Kenneth, you comment on every woman's figure but mine. Well, I... What? You don't like my legs? Gabby, it's you. You know? No, chicken shit, I don't know. All you do is make stupid sexist comments to avoid saying anything real. Hmm. Gabby, now's not the time. We've got work to do. Responsibilities. Ah, grow a pair, Ken. Look around you. Tomorrow may not come. Something to say or no? Gabby, please. We have a duty to the ship and the crew. Yeah. What about us? Just <sighs> listen to yourself. Kenneth, you comment on okay. every woman's figure but mine. We're not fighting this war for ourselves, Donnelly. We're fighting for the people close to us. Time is short. I see your point, Commander. Gabby, I think your legs are spectacular. Well, that's a start. Yeah, it is a start. All propulsion systems are running optimally. Okay. How's it going, Adams? Need anything, Commander? Hmm. Okay, well, I guess you have no further opinions on Carry anything on. else. Aye, aye, ma'am. So. How's it going, Tally? Can't be. No. I guess that's right. Hey. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry. Uh, from Rannoch. <laughs> In the old days, I'd sent any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. Hey. I don't know anything about raising crops. <laughs> How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are... Helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. That is really damn cool. You mean they're... they're... wow. That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. That is amazing. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore. It doesn't seem possible, but yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them. The suits have become part of our society. But a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Rannoch, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. Wow. I owe that to you. 
No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Maybe. Thank you. You would have been wrong for killing them. Because, you know, that's kind of the ongoing theme here. Killing the Geth is kind of wrong. I'm going to stand by that statement. There is no reason to really kill the Geth. You have every reason to support them, and, obviously, to unite them with their creators. Because they're doing tremendous... I think the actual timeline difference between a few years with the Geth helping them versus 50 or 60 years to acclimate to their host environment without them. Yeah. I can't believe my people are working with the Geth. I can. The Geth are helping us rebuild. I never thought I'd see it. I did. Our scientists and the Geth have done amazing work on the Crucible together. Excellent. Hey, Shepard. Okay, I guess you're done talking. Fantastic. Great talk, Tally. Let's see, who else is around here? Uh, Diana's in her place, and then I can call her up to my cabin, I think, for the interview, but that's not going to happen immediately. Oh, I wonder if I'm going to have an interesting conversation with Javik. Hopefully not a very long one, but, uh, we'll see. How's it going, Javik? Javik, buddy? Another Reaper has died. Yes. You are proving that humans are capable soldiers. Damn straight. But I question this peace you have brokered. Fuck you. No such thing is possible between machines and organics. Sure there are. I would have destroyed the synthetics without hesitation. Of course you would have. these quarians. Let's just hope they are reliable allies. Also, fuck it's you. It's difficult to trust a species that hides behind masks. Says the guy who says nothing about his past and keeps to himself. Well, I guess he doesn't really remember everything, but still. The only conflict you should concern yourself with is ending the one with the Reapers. Yes. Diplomacy does not win wars. Powerful and plentiful firearms do. Except that for every bit of firearms and that, that, we, that we've got on our side, we don't really seem to be uh, gaining any ground on that front. It does seem like we may want to try a slightly different tactic when it comes to the Reapers. I don't know. How do you see with only two eyes? Evolution has taken a strange turn in this cycle. I see damn well, thank you. Do not care what others think. Do what you must. Okay. That's fantastic. Thank you, Javik. You're a doll. All right. Let's see. Uh, I think this is the lounge? No, that's the observation deck. Got the flush. Oh, wait. Mm. Full house. Caught it on the river. Shit. Thought you were bluffing on the flush. Good for you. Can it, Lieutenant? <laughs> yes, sir, Major Olenko, sir. <laughs> hey, Commander. Nothing else to say? Hey, Commander. All right, how's it going, Caden? Shepard, I'd deal you in, but Vega just cleaned me out. Oh, come on. That really as deep as your pockets go? No sentimental crap stowed away? Investments? Excuse me? I got some land on the Sunshine Coast I could put up. <laughs> I'll pass. That was quite the negotiation you've pulled off. Yeah. And having both the Quarians and the Geth on our side? That's a very good thing. I agree. The, the, the negotiation being, fuck you all, do what I tell you to. Totally took down a Reaper. Yes, I did. Yep. Sure did. Yes, you did. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's... A few more and we're done. And you know, I'm just gonna have to go with you on trusting the gas. I hope it works out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's gonna. I don't think that Legion sacrificed himself for that. To not go well. Yeah, let's talk later. Oh, I see how it is. I stopped talking about the killing off the Reapers, and it's, oh, I'll talk to you later. All right, who else is around up here? Okay, we've got... All right, we've got people to go and visit. But I am out of time on this installment of Let's Play Mass Effect 3. But I hope to see you next time, where I continue chatting with a couple more people around the deck to do, probably do an interview with Diana, see what's going on with the... Um, Shepherd Commander request that we got in the emails, and probably at some point talk to the Asari Counselor, who I'm sure is just so patiently waiting for us and having no issue whatsoever with us putting her off because she's not our top priority. Talking with, you know, Liara or Caden or other people of the crew, top priority. The Asari Counselor? Mm -hmm. 
after the way they treated us, I can't say that I'm terribly 100% behind talking to her anyway. Anyway, I hope to see you next time.